Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's Museum Mornings, our live family activity. My name is Emma and I am an engagement officer at the Jewish Museum London. I would like to begin this week's activity by asking you a question. How have you been spending your free time since last week's Museum Morning? Have a think about your answer. Maybe share it with me in the comments section, or maybe share your answers with the people you are watching this with. What have you been up to in this week since our last Museum Mornings activity? Maybe you have been spending your free time doing one of your favourite hobbies. Maybe it's reading a book. Maybe it's baking. Maybe you've been watching one of your favourite TV programmes. Or have you perhaps taken up a new hobby? Maybe you've done an online class. Now, the reasons why I ask this question is because across our museum this week, our theme has been time. And we've been thinking about our free time and what we like to do in it. So this might be a hobby. Maybe you really enjoy reading and have enjoyed reading a book. That's something I've really enjoyed doing this week. It might be talking to a friend over the phone. Maybe you've been using Skype or Zoom or Facebook to chat with people over the internet. Maybe you've enjoyed the chance to go outside. Maybe you've liked going for a walk, maybe a run, maybe a bike ride. There are all sorts of fun, exciting things that we can do. And I wonder what you've chosen to do this week. Do share your answers with me in the comments section. I can see somebody said that they've been enjoying doing a puzzle this week. I hope it's been going well. Somebody else has been um, baking biscuits this week. Maybe you've had a chance to do some baking. I wonder what fun activities you've all been up to this week. Now in our collection at the Jewish Museum, we have lots and lots of photographs that show how people have been enjoying spending their free time for over a hundred years. I'd like to show you some of these photographs from our collection and maybe some of these activities people have been doing in these photographs are things you enjoy doing today. So I'm going to show you just some of the many, many photographs that we have in our collection. So this is the first one I picked that I really wanted to share with you today. This photo was taken in the 1930s and it shows a girl called Susan in what we think is her garden in Tunbridge Wells in Kent. And you can see in this photo, she is playing with her dog. And both Susan and her dog seem to be having a lovely time playing together. I wonder if you have any pets that you enjoy playing with. Maybe you also have a dog. Maybe you have a cat, a rabbit, a hamster. Maybe you enjoy spending time with your pets. Then we have this photo, which is one of the earliest photographs in our collection. It was taken all the way back in 1905. That is 115 years ago. Now, in this photo, we can see eight of the children of the Perkoff family who lived in Clapton in London. They are stood in the snow in their garden. And you might be able to make out that some of the children have bunched up some of the snow into snowballs and are holding it in their hands above their heads. They look as though they are ready to throw a snowball at the camera. I wonder if in winter you enjoy going out into your garden, covering up the snow and having snowball fights. Or maybe you prefer the weather like it was yesterday when it's really warm and sunny and you enjoy going into your garden to do a bit of gardening or maybe to sit and enjoy the sunshine. Whatever way, maybe you enjoy spending time going outside into your garden, whether it is warm or whether it is cold. Moving forward in time, I've next chosen this photograph, which is from the 1970s. And it shows some children at Norwood Family Home playing their musical instruments. You can see a girl at the front on the left 
concentrating very, very hard on her sheet of music. She's there playing her violin. She's got a boy in the middle on a piano and a girl on the right, I think is a clarinet. As well as the children playing their instruments, there were also some children who were enjoying sitting and listening to the music being played. Now, I wonder if you can play a musical instrument. And if so, maybe you've enjoyed spending some time practicing with your instrument this past week. Maybe like me, you can't play a musical instrument, but you enjoy sitting and listening to music, like the boys at the front of the photo. This photo goes back to the 1930s and shows three sisters, Polly on the left, Miriam in the middle and Trudy on the right. They're all playing together in their garden. I wonder if you have any brothers or sisters you like to play with. Now they're holding on to a bicycle. Maybe you like going for bike rides as well. Maybe you've gone on some this week. And then we have this photograph here from the Victoria Club which shows some boys playing a game of chess. They seem to be focusing very carefully on their game. And there are some boys looking over the shoulders of the players, also really interested in what is happening in the game. Can you play chess, I wonder? Have you played it this week? Maybe there's another board game that you prefer playing in your house. I wonder what it is. Do share your answers with me in the comment section. We have so many photographs in our collection showing how people like to spend their time. These are only some of the many photos I could have chosen. From our photos, we can see people enjoy reading, dancing, baking, knitting, singing, playing sports, gardening, and sitting down to eat their favorite foods. There are so many, many examples of people having fun in our collection and simply enjoying the free time that they have. These photos are really important as they help us remember ways people have been having fun and filling their time for over a hundred years. Some of you watching may have ways you remember the fun things you have done in your free time. Maybe you like taking photos with your family that you can look back at and remember all the fun things you have done. Maybe you write a diary where you write down all the fun things you do each day and can look back at later to remind yourself of what you've done and how you felt. In our collection, we have this object. It is a scrapbook made by George Levy. Now, George Levy was born on the 17th of June, 1884. And he was one of the 12 children of Lewis Levy and his wife, Hannah. Now, Lewis Levy encouraged his children to keep scrapbooks and both George and his brother, Percy, made one. Shall we have a look inside and see what they put in their scrapbooks? So let's look inside George's scrapbook. On this page, we can see he's stuck in lots of black and white photographs of family members at a family wedding. Can you spot the bride in the photos? I think I can spot her. I think she is in the top photographs holding the very large bouquet of flowers and wearing a beautiful white veil. We can see as well as the photos that George has written in the scrapbook as well. He's written the name of the bride, Beatrice, and she's photographed with her husband, Sam. And there's also the names of lots of children in the family next to it as well. Let's see what's on another page of this scrapbook. Ooh, so here we can see that George has cut out snippets from a newspaper and stuck them in his scrapbook. So at the top, we can see a charity bazaar. And there are lots and lots of people. It looks quite packed at that charity bazaar. People having lots of fun. And there's a date on the newspaper, 1914. On the bottom right hand side, we can see there's a photo of a boy and a girl. And he's also written their names. It looks like it's Lewis and Doris. So if I have a look at another page. Oh, here on this page of the scrapbook, we can see lots of family photos from a trip to the seaside. 
and here we have some more photographs from that same trip. Can you see down the bottom, there's a photograph of a large, large group all playing in the sea. George has written a date for us above it, 1913, and he's written in the water at Margate. And it looks like they are having a wonderful time on that holiday there. I really like looking at this scrapbook as it is an excellent way of remembering all the fun things that George did. Throughout it, he stuck in menus, family photographs, letters, postcards, newspaper cuttings, and so much more. So for our activity today, you might have guessed, we are going to be creating our own scrapbook so we can record all the fun things we will go on to do in this coming week. So how are we going to do this? Well, step one, you need to get three pieces of A4 paper. These can be white pieces of paper or colored pieces of paper, whatever you would like. And you then need to join them together. Now you could staple the edges of them, or you could do what I've done here. I used a hole punch, get four holes in it, and then I tied them with some ribbon or some string would work, whatever you might have in your house. Once you've done that, you have your book, which you can use to make your scrapbook from. So step two, design your front cover. So I have already decorated mine here. I've written my name in the middle, and then around the edges, I've drawn some flowers in my favourite colours. Bring that a bit closer so you can see. I've got a lovely purple one. And a blue and a deep pink here. Step three is then choosing what you would like to stick inside your scrapbook. And it can be anything that reminds you of a happy, fun thing you do in this coming week. So you can choose them as you go through the week and add to it each day throughout the week. Now, to give you some ideas, I actually made my scrapbook of the things I did last week. And you can see some of the things I stuck in it already. So here, out of Radio Times, it is a television programme I really enjoyed watching this week. There we go. Here is a cupcake case from the cupcakes that my dad baked. They were very tasty. Over here, I stuck in a playing card from the card games I really enjoyed playing with my family. Now, there wasn't something physical that I could stick in my scrapbook for every activity that I did this week. If I didn't have something that I could stick in, I instead drew a picture. So I painted a picture here actually. I wonder if you can tell what it is. This is actually of some spinach that I am growing in the garden. And then over the page here, which is a guy that I saw on one of my walks this week. And then over here, I've also painted a picture of some flowers that I can see from my bedroom window. When I've stuck everything in, whether it's something I cut out and stuck in, or something that I painted or drew myself, I also written a little note next to it to myself, why I stuck that object in and what fun activity it reminded me of. So a butterfly like the one I saw on my wall. Looking back through this scrapbook, it reminds me of all the fun, happy things that I have done this week, and I really like looking through it. I wonder what your scrapbooks will look like when they are finished. I wonder what activities you will go on to do this week and how you will record them in your books. I'd really love to find out. When you come to the end of this week and your scrapbooks are finished, it would be lovely if you wanted to share a picture of them with me. You can do this on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter by using the hashtag Museum Mornings and writing at Jewish Museum L D M. So I can have a look at them. But I would just say do make sure you ask an adult in your house before you share any photos with me. So thank you everybody so much.
for joining me for this week's museum morning. I really hope you enjoy creating your own scrapbooks as much as I have created, have enjoyed creating my one here. Do join us again next week at the same time, 11.30, where Lisa will be doing a special activity to celebrate Museums Week. We really hope to see you all there. Bye.